In this video, I will show you how to quickly compute the mean, median and mode, essentially the measures of central tendency for discrete series data. We will be using this discrete series data set of the number of dental clinic visits for 10 children in Samaru Zaria, Nigeria. We are going to be using common statistical notation. So remember, the mean is usually denoted by X bar, the median by M, while the mode is by the letter Z. I've placed a link above if you want to learn how to compute these same measures for continuous series data. I've also placed timestamps below in case you want to jump to any portion of this video. All right, let's do this. The mean of discrete series data. This is a discrete series data set on the number of dental clinics of a sample of 10 children in the last one year. We know that this is a discrete series data because we can see the variable and the corresponding frequencies, right? So how do we find the mean of this data? Recall that the mean is a measure of central tendency that indicates the average of the data set. So our task here is to find the average. Let's first modify the table a bit to make it easy for us to compute the mean. So let's put the number of visits here and the frequency here. And then we have all the data arranged neatly in a vertical manner like so. Better. The mean of a discrete series data set is given by the formula x bar is equals to sigma from i equals to 1 to n of f sub i multiplied by x sub i divided by sigma f sub i. This means the sum of the product of each frequency and each value in the data set from the first value to the last value of x all divided by the sum of all the frequencies which is the same as the number of values. Here x bar is the symbol for the mean of the sample. Sigma i equals to 1 to n is the sum of all the values from the first to the last. f sub i is the value of the ith frequency, i.e. the frequencies of the index data values. x sub i is all the index data elements. And sigma f sub i is the sum of all the frequencies, which is the same as the sample size. So let us use this formula to find the mean of this data. First, let's label our table with the correct statistical notation to enable us to easily apply the formula. So our number of visits is our data value. So and let's label this as x sub i and the frequencies as f sub i. And since the numerator of the formula wants us to find the product of f sub i and x sub i, let us create a new column now to do the product of the frequency and the values of x. Let's call it f sub i of x sub i. So this will be 0 times 1, which is 0, 1 times 3, which is 3, 2 times 3, which is 6, 3 times 2 is 6 and 5 times 1 is 5. Awesome. Now going by the formula, we need to sum all of these to get the sum of f of x, which is our numerator. Adding all this together, we will have 20. Now the denominator for the formula is the sum of the frequencies, which is 10. The question even says that we have 10 children, right? Awesome. So our mean is 20 divided by 10, giving a mean of 2. Easy peasy. The median of discrete series data. How do we find the median of this data? Recall that the median is a measure of central tendency that indicates the middle point of the data set. So our task here is to find the middle point or the middle value of the data set. Let's first modify this table in a bit to make it easy for us to compute. So we'll put the number of visits here and then the frequency here and then we can put in all the data arranged neatly in a vertical manner. To find the median for discrete series, we will need to first compute the cumulative frequency. So let's just create a new column here. I will call this cumulative frequency and this will be 1 and then the next will be 1 plus 3 so the cumulative frequency is 4 then 4 plus 3 and this is 7 7 plus 2 is 9 and 9 plus 1 is 10 awesome so to confirm if your cumulative frequency calculation is correct the last cumulative frequency should be the total of all the frequencies so we can see here it is 10 and here too we have 10 awesome and when we add all the frequencies we confirm the information that we have in the question that says we have 10 children right remember the question says we have 10 children so our n is 10 great the formula for locating the median position is n plus 1 divided by 2 notice the th here because the formula just gives us the position so the median position is 10 plus 1 divided by 2 that's 11 divided by 2 giving us the 5.5th position now we know the position of the median Next, we will need to locate the median value. To do this, we will also use the cumulative frequency. The median is going to be at the cumulative frequency value, which is just above the median position. So if we look at the cumulative frequency, the one just above the 5.5th position is 7. So we'll just trace this back to our original number of visits, and we see that our median number of visits is 2 visits. Easy peasy. The mode of discrete series data. So how do we find the mode of this data? 
Recall that the mode is a measure of central tendency that indicates the most frequent value of the dataset. So our task here is to find the one with the highest frequency. When we look under the frequencies, we see that the highest frequency is 5 and the value with the highest frequency is 1. So our mode number of visits is 1. Easy peasy. Now if you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more quick statistical tips and tricks. Check out this video here if you want to learn how to easily compute the mean for individual series data with a formula or this other video here for the shortcut method for finding the mean for continuous series data. And as always, thanks for watching.